This tutorial will show you how to export your photos into final formats such as TIFF and JPEG. First part of the tutorial demonstrates the simplest way to export your photos and then we can move on to a more advanced workflow with more features. Skip ahead to the latter part if you need to. I'd like to export these six photos to JPEG. I'll shift select them and choose export in the toolbar. My selected photos are now shown in the browser on the right hand side, whilst the export viewer is showing how your photos will look after export, so it's easy to tweak the settings of your export recipes. Capture One is preloaded with a number of export recipes here. As I said earlier, I'd like to export to JPEG, so I'll activate the recipe by checking the box here. As this is the first time I have exported from Capture One, I'll need to define a default export location, which all the export recipes can use if I wish. I'll go and choose my pictures folder. To change the default export location at any point, just click here. I would like them to go into their own folder within my pictures folder so they're better organized. Format in the naming tool is currently set to image name, meaning the exported photo will simply share the same name as shown here. Format and size shows me the settings of the currently chosen export recipe. Note if I choose something else, the settings change. Finally, I'll click export. And here's how it looks in the Finder. Don't forget when you're in the export dialog, you can activate more than one export recipe by checking the adjacent box for a simultaneous export. Now let's move on to a more advanced workflow. To reveal all available export tools, check the Show All Options box here. This enables more features to key into broader workflows. For this example, let's make a 2,500 pixel wide optimized JPEG for a web gallery, also with a watermark. First, I'll make a new export recipe by clicking plus here and give it a recognizable name. I would like to give this recipe a unique location and not use the catalog default, so I'll pick one here and select my Dropbox. Note that each export recipe can either use the catalog or session default, have a unique location, or be placed within the same folder as the original. To prevent the photos getting mixed into the top level of my Dropbox, I use a combination of text and token so they're nicely organized. Entering slash means Capture One will make a further subfolder after the My Website folder. I'd like to automate this to today's date. Click here to choose a subfolder token. I'll filter to the date tokens and pick current date. And change the format to my liking. I'm happy to overwrite any photos that were previously exported to make sure the folder only contains the newest edits. So we'll change the option here to overwrite. I'd also like to give any photo using this recipe a unique name. Again, I'll use another token, this time recipe name. And separate the tokens with an underscore so it's easier to read. As I said earlier, I want to resize this JPEG to 2,500 pixels, so I need to pick the right settings in the Format and Size tool. First of all, I change to JPEG and the ICC profile to sRGB and change the scaling to width and set that to 2,500 pixels. The export viewer is continuously proofing to the settings in the Format and Size and Adjustments tool. 
make sure you're viewing at 100% to visualize exactly how your photos will look when exported. Note when I highlight another recipe with different scaling, the viewer changes to represent that. The viewer also shows me the level of JPEG compression, so I can accurately set that to the best compromise between quality and file size. In the Adjustments tool, I'd like to add some output sharpening for screen, as scaling a photo can negatively impact the sharpness. I'm happy with the sharpening and JPEG compression, so I'll zoom back out so I can position my watermark correctly. I'm going to use an image-based watermark. I want the opacity to be 100% and I'll reposition it by choosing the Move Watermark Cursor tool here. I think I'll make it a bit smaller too. I don't want the camera metadata embedded into the JPEGs, so I'll uncheck that option. Finally, a quick browse through the photos means I can check how the watermark looks and I'm ready to export. A helpful summary is shown here, and I can begin the export process by clicking here. If you need to cancel the export for any reason, click on the X in the activity window here. And here's how it looks in the Finder. You can see I'm in my Dropbox. The first folder is the manually created one, my website. The second folder was automatically created by the token current date. And then finally, we can see the exported photos, which also contain the recipe name in their file name. If you remember, we added the token recipe name in the naming tool. To export more photos using the previous settings, simply long press on the export icon here and choose export with previous settings. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut Command or Control D. This simply skips the export dialog and starts exporting immediately using the previously selected recipes.